Dr. Raghubedi, Professor of Political Science in Gandhi Gram Rural University. Kumarpa was associated with Gandhi Gram for many, many years. He was a regular visitor of Gandhi Gram, a close friend of Gandhi Gram. The founder of Gandhi Gram and Dr. J.C. Kumarpa, they worked in the promotion of village industries in the All India Village Industries Association. Kumarpa was the chairman of All, All India Village Industries Association and Dr. G. Ramachandran was the secretary of All India Village Industries Association. All India Village Industries Association was founded by Mahatma Gandhi. You may be very happy to know that it had many distinguished uh, advisors. Dr. Sir C. V. Raman, Sir Jagadish Chandra Bose, Rabindra Tagore, and G. D. Birla, and many others. Gandhi wanted a combination of scientists, artists, industrialists, and entrepreneurs in promotion of village industries. Gandhi thought the scope for India's poor will come only from the Khadi and village industries. Gandhiji's ideas many times could not be understood by many, but Kumarapa gave a practical interpretation to Gandhi's ideas. One of the best books of Kumarapa was Economy of Permanence. He was talking about the sustainable development long back, about 90 years back. At that time, no one was aware of all these issues, but Kumarapa was ahead of his time and he could appreciate. Gandhi and Kumarapa, they could guess that something is going wrong with industrial civilization. Kumarapa was originally a chartered accountant. Kumarapa studied economics in Columbia University under the same professor with whom Dr. B.R. Ambedkar worked, that was Soligman. Soligman was considered as the founder of welfare economics in the United States of America. He was responsible for 16th Amendment of uh, American Constitution, which, which uh, gave permission to the government for uh, progressive taxation. Before that, there was no idea of progressive taxation. Because of pro progressive taxation, American government could generate money for the welfare of uh, uh, underprivileged people. So Kumarapa and Ambedkar studied under him. Kumarapa did his uh, thesis in Columbia University under Seligman. The title of the thesis was uh, Public Finance and Poverty in India. Kumarapa could find poverty is not something natural, it is man-made. Poverty is the creation of the bad policies of government and the, and the structure of social systems. So he believed that poverty can be completely eradicated from the earth, provided you restructure public policies and, and social systems. Kumarpa's ideas at that time, he was not a Gandhian at that time, his uh, ideas were uh, the outcome of his own research and understanding of the policies of the British, his, uh, British government and he wanted to submit uh, his research report to Mahatma Gandhi. He came to, uh, came to Ahmedabad uh, Sabarmadi Ashram, met Gandhi and gave his, uh, uh, his the a copy of his thesis to him. Gandhi asked his permission to publish that thesis in his uh, Young India Weekly. After that, uh, Gandhi and Kumarpa, they became friends. Finally, Gandhi invited him to leave his uh, profession and join in the Ahmedabad um, Sabarmadi Ashram. Uh, Kumarapa joined as a professor of economics in, uh, in the Gujarat Vidya Peed in Ahmedabad. After Dandi March, Gandhi left uh, Sabarmadi Ashram once for all and set, he settled at Sevagram. Kumarapa also came along with uh, Gandhi to Sevagram. He started a new institution in Mahanwadi. Mahanwadi is now considered as the mecca of rural industries. Mahanwadi, he did a lot of research in various village industries. About, uh, I think, uh, about uh, 34 industries 
or what we call as rural technologies. He did many bold uh, experiments. How Gandhiji's ideas could be translated into products for the daily use of human beings. In 1954, Kumarpa permanently came to Gandhi Nigayadana Ashram at T. Kallapeti. Uh, the founder of Gandhi Nigayadana Ashram, Dr. G. Vengdajal Abdudi, as I told, was closely associated with Kumarpa from the days of Irka development program. On the invitation of Vengdajal Abdudi, he came to Gandhi Nigayadana Ashram and settled there. Uh, he used to say, uh, Gandhi Nigayadana was the, was the Varda of South India, or Sevagram of South India. He was so much impressed by the activities uh, going on there. And uh, he had a small amount uh, in his uh, very old uh, savings account. With that amount, he constructed a beautiful cottage. He designed his cottage and constructed the cottage and settled there. For about uh, six years, he lived there. If you go to the Kumarappa cottage in Gandhi Nigayadan Ashram, at the entrance, you will find a beautiful picture. A picture of a strange man. Nobody knows who is that man. Many visitors were surprised to see that picture. Kumarapa used to tell, he is my master's master. His master was Mahatma Gandhi. Gandhi's master was a poor village patient. Frequently used to go out. He was uh, going to USSR, um, USSR, China, Japan, Ceylon and many other places during that period. He was also not very healthy at that time. Um, leaders like Rajendra Prasad, then President of India, uh, Acharya Vinamba Bhave, Jay Prakash Narayan, Kirbalini and many others visited Kumarapa in this, uh, in this, in his cottage and uh, used to discuss about uh, many things on nation's development. Nehru asked, Kumarapa gave him a, him a note how this country could be developed uh, based on Gandhi's ideas. So, they had a very good relationship, Nehru and Gam, Kumarapa, they had a very good relationship, they, but they have different perspectives on development, that is the difference. So, for him, for Kumarapa, during his, uh, he was known for two important things, one is revival of village industries. considered as the architect of Gandhi in economic thought and the father of village industries. Many people may not be knowing his love for organic farming. Later part of his life, he focused on reviving agriculture based on traditional practices. He established a Pannai Ashram, it means farm ashram, near Varda. It was a, a barren land. Kumarapa wanted to enrich the soil and make it as a good farm. Farm life for him, he believed it is an ashram life. He considered farm, farmers as the Vedic rishis. Vinaba also used to have such an idea. So he wanted to revive village industries as well as the organic farming. At that time, nobody was thinking about organic farming. Kumarpa was the first man, I think one of the first men in India to promote, uh, uh, promote uh, vermiculture and he was dead against uh, chemical fertilizer. He could, uh, about uh, 80, 90 years back, he, he, he has written that uh, use of chemical fertilizer will make the land barren. And Kumarpa was also against massive electrification of farming because he believed that electrification will convert uh, farming 
from a lively livelihood activity to a uh, industrial activity. Kumarpa's economy, I think, it stands it stands on three important principles. One is economy should enrich nature, enrich poor, and enrich the life of human beings. The three important principles. For example, no economic activity, no industrial activity can harm the nature. It must be designed in such a way that economic activity, it does not harm nature, poor and the life of human beings. Kumarpa used to give good examples, good models for that. He used to tell about earthworm and honeybees. For millions of years, earthworm is enjoying its life in the earth. It takes all its requirement from the earth. But in that process, it enriches the earth. Like that honeybee also. Honeybee, it goes to flowers. It collects honey. It collects only very little honey, not much honey. It does not harm flowers, but it helps the plants because of pollination. Now, earth is under threat because of climate change. Climate change is uh, a man-made problem. It is not a natural disaster. You cannot classify as a natural disaster. It is a civilizational disaster. Kumarpa was questioning it. Not long, long back, only about 70, 80 years back, he told. In his economy of permanence, he could foresee such calamities. He recorded it. Now, many world governments, scientists, they try to solve the climate change issues through technology, through transnational agreements. But one thing they are able to appreciate that something basic or wrong in our system. Long back, I think it was in 1974, a book was published, Limits to Growth by Club of Rome. The idea is in a limited world, unlimited growth is not only possible, it is disastrous. It is not possible for this earth to satisfy the unlimited needs of human beings. So in this context, Kumarpa's ideas are becoming very important. What I want to tell, Kumarpa lived 70, 80 years back. We may not be able to implement all his ideas of 70, 80, 80 years back today. We have to revisit Kumarappa. We have to redesign his ideas. There are many young people now. They are not, they are able to appreciate the Kumarappa's views and the idea of sustainable development. Lot of initiatives are all over the world going on. Now, youth are the hope for us. I believe Sometimes in history, miracles could happen. Gandhi believed in that. Suddenly human race may realize the real problems we are facing today and the real solutions for it. On that day, I think the world will revisit Kumarappa and Gandhi again. <laughs>